band called the Casuals. We were uh, dubbed Nashville's first rock and roll band. We were from East Nashville in Inglewood, Tennessee, and uh, it's it's kind of a cute story of the way we met. I was in a, I was an art student. I was going to try to be in commercial art. Have any artists in here? Oh yeah. How many how many are in the rock and roll in Anza rock and roll class? A few of you. Great. Great to see y'all. Uh, but anyway, I was uh, an art student there at uh, Lytton High, and uh, I was fully set that was probably what I was going to do. Well, a buddy of mine, Jim Seymour, said in my junior year, he said, we're going to do a, a production number out at WSX Television. I thought, hmm, what's that? I said, what is a production number? He said, well, we're going to lip sync the song White Christmas, which a movie by Bing Crosby was out at the classic old song. And I said, oh, man, that's not my thing. He said, uh, there'll be a lot of girls there. I said, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, ladies, it, mainly what got us all into music, you know. That's the way it is. But anyway, so, certainly not for the money, at least in the beginning it wasn't. But anyway, I went on out to WSX and started lip-syncing records after that. When I walked into that studio and saw the lights and the cameras, I said, ooh, I like this. This is fun. It was a little old bitty studio in those days. So I, I met uh, three guys there uh, who had uh, four guys. and. They had a band, and I, I said, man, this is, uh, you know, playing live music, that's where it's at. I don't want to keep lip-syncing somebody else's records. So I kind of wormed my way into the band in uh, Lebanon, Tennessee, in March 16th, 1956. Uh, we did our first gig. And so we traveled all over the country, uh, to 50 states, and uh, did all of the, uh, played all of the rock and roll shows, all of the different package shows. Package shows were where you, took several artists, unlike today where uh, an artist performs, say there's four guys on the show or only these big country package shows at least, and they do their full concert, at least do 45 minutes or something. You got to do your hit songs if you had any hit songs. You got to do one or two songs at the most, and then you just got back on the bus or the, the car or whatever you were doing and took on off to the next one. So uh, it was really fun, but we had a, let me see now, are we on here? I guess y'all can hear that. So anyway, this is kind of the story of that little band traveling across the country and getting to play with some of those folks. We were just hound dogs, lost but not found dogs, running lean and a teeny bit me. Playing our music, lighting the fuses, living the rock and roll thing. It was a movie day. Remembering making, pull out a lot of shaking, the living the rock and roll thing. Girl working with the style I might show what I need. A that girl with the rock. A little six-piece band, a keeping the beat, a rocking around the clock. Copper is an EP, or Billy and Jeremy, cats that were rocking the scene. We met them all, son. Still living the rock and roll dream. 